it's been a while, but here we are with another video showing you how to make the most delicious bread that is both soft, chewy and very very filling. If I told you that this is super easy to make, would you believe me? Trust me on this, it really is. First off, add 120 milliliter of warm water into a bowl or a cup if you have that. Pour in 19 grams of sugar and 4 grams of instant yeast. Let the mixture sit aside while we are moving on to mixing our dry ingredients. In a big separate bowl, add in 440 grams of bread flour and that to make the dense texture that bagels are known for. Some salt, or more specifically, 6 grams. A tip is to make sure that the salt is well mixed before pouring in the mixture, since salt actually can kill the yeast. Next is to blend it all. Add in 80 ml of warm water and blend some more. Ta-da! Here is our slight sticky dough that we will have to work with by hand for 10 minutes. But having a stand mixer would definitely help, which I do not have. But that's okay. It's a good workout anyways. We will now add our dough onto a slight flared surface and knead the dough for about 10 minutes until it's smooth and elastic. It will be a bit sticky in the beginning, and you may need to add some more flour, which amount depends on the brand. Or it could also be the climate that you are living in. Remember, you can always add more flour, but it's difficult to remove if you put too much. So be a little bit careful on this part. And when it looks something like this, place the dough in a grease bowl with oil and cover it with a towel or plastic wrap. Let it sit and rise for one hour in a warm place. The dough is now rested for an hour and has doubled in size, so we will be punching it lightly to remove gas. And let it sit for 5 minutes before working the dough. This time I am going for big bagels and divided the dough into 4 pieces. But you could also make 8 small bagels as well if you would prefer that. So what we are doing here is using a scale to help making sure that they are equally big. And that will also help with baking them evenly. What we want is for the buns or balls to be round and there is a lot of different techniques but this is the way I prefer to do it. When shaping is done, place a baking paper onto a tray and oil it a tiny bit. But this is not necessary, I just do this to make sure that it isn't sticky, but it's optional to grease it or not. Also, you might experience some bubbles when shaping. I'm not sure if you can see the bubbles at this moment, but you will for sure later in this video. 
I'm not really sure why this happens, but I can assure you that it will taste as amazing as it would without these small blisters. Next, you will want to coat a finger in flour and gently press your finger into the middle of each to form a ring. When you're done with them all, place the bagels on a lightly oiled baking paper. Cover them with a kitchen towel and allow to rest for 10 minutes. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. Here you want it to be really boiling because this is gonna help them get this chewy texture. So I find that very important. With a slotted spoon or a skimmer, lower the bagels into the water. Try to boil as many as you are comfortable with, but try to not overdo it. Depending on how chewy you want your bagels to be, I recommend to cook them for one to two minutes per side. But I usually go with one and a half minute. Brush it with some water if you have a brush, but I don't so I use my fingers. This will really help them get this golden brown color on top and get that perfect crust. So be patient and let them sit for 20 minutes until colored. But the time mostly depends on what kind of oven you have. All of them are different so you might have to keep them for a longer time or maybe faster. And now we have come to the most difficult part of making this recipe and that is to wait for them to have cooled down. So give it a try and let me know what you think about them the comment field down below and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye